hello again and welcome to project learn db2 now in this final video of our series I'm going to be covering on how to work with XML I'm not going to be spending much time on showing you how to uh, create a table or how to create a data connection and all that we have covered all those steps in the uh, previous videos so I'm going to go straight ahead and jump into it so let's go ahead and create a new project we're going to be calling this XML DB2 demo. Now let's go ahead and create our XML table. Fresh this. Okay. We're going to call this TBL DB2 XML. next now let's add our columns ID it's going to be of type integer I'm going to add a name column right so click next let's make the ID as the primary key and click finish let's refresh this right so our table is TBL DB2 XML. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and add a new data source. Let's go ahead and choose our table. Right. Now let me just go ahead and drag and drop this. Makes things easier and fast. Just go ahead and add a details view. So that's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and run this. Right. So let's add one. As you know, XML is case sensitive. So let's go ahead and follow those standards. Gonna save this automatically it comes here. Let's add another record. Okay. Now this shows you how to add new records. Now what if I were to just make a minor change here and click on save. Even the update is working. And so does delete. So let me just go ahead and add another name here. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. Yep. And before I complete this demo, I'm going to show you how we can bind various other controls with XML. So for example, let's go ahead and bind this name to a combo box okay now click on this arrow here and choose use data bound items now when you the first option is that you will need to choose your uh, data source then your display member will be your column your value member will be the value that is contained in that column and the selected value obviously it's going to be the name so let's save this and run it as you can see it's bound now now let's go ahead and add a new record Go ahead and save that. Immediately you can see the changes. So that completes our series on Windows applications. In our next video of series, we're going to be exploring how to work with web applications and web services. So please do join me then as how I shall help you in building DB2 powered websites with 
uh, ASP.NET 2.0.